today's topic is chemical reactions and equation of cbsc class 10th chemistry chapter 1 so let's see what is this chemical reactions and equations consider the following situations of our daily life and think what happens when milk is left at the room temperatures during the summer season obviously the milk will be getting spoiled we know that so what is that what is happening to the milk let's see that one more example an iron tawa or pan or a nail is exposed to humid atmospheres so what is happening in this reaction so what is happening to the iron tawa pan or nail left in the open atmosphere it is getting rusted right so just have a look here the iron nail is getting rusted and the milk left during the summers it will be spoiled so what is this it is a chemical reaction which is occurring within the substance one more example grapes get fermented fermented means getting spoiled the grapes are getting spoiled later the food is cooked when the food is cooked and it is left like that only what is happening there it will be getting spoiled right food get digested in our body the digestion process is a chemical reaction right and we respire the respiration so all these are something it is happening that is a chemical reaction is happening within the system in all the above situations the nature and the identity of the initial substance have somewhat changed the initial substance suppose take the example we have taken the fermentation of the grape so grape the fresh grape was a initial substance later after some days it has been spoiled it was been fermented then something has happened to that grape so what is that happening inside the grape that is a chemical reaction is happening there we have already learned about the physical and the chemical changes of matter in our previous classes so we have seen the physical and the chemical changes in our previous class so we will be talking about the chemical changes now presently in our chapter later whenever a chemical change occurs we can say that the chemical reaction has taken place so whenever a chemical change is occurring within the system we say that a chemical reaction has taken place so what is this chemical reaction you may perhaps be wondering as to what is actually happening in the chemical reaction or a by a chemical reaction so what is this chemical reaction you are wondering so let's see what is this chemical reaction how do we come to know that a chemical reaction has taken place so how we know that the chemical reaction has taken place we can see it or else we can feel it let's see that let us perform some activities to find out the answer for these so let's do some activities the activity one here caution it's a caution here this activity needs a teacher's assistance so as you are a smaller children every activity should be performed under the guidance of the teacher so let's see that it would be better if students wear suitable eye glasses so always before entering the lab we should have the eye glasses and we should have the gloves to the hands also it's well better let's do the activity now burning of magnesium ribbon in air and collection of magnesium oxide in a watch glass so that is our activity we have to burn the magnesium ribbon in open atmosphere and we have to collect the magnesium oxide that is a product in the watch glass the first step here clean the magnesium ribbon about 3 to 4 cm long by rubbing it with a sandpaper first we have to clean the magnesium ribbon 
later we have to do the experiment the magnesium ribbon it is very reactive in nature and it will be reacting with the atmospheric air so that's why we have to rub it with a sandpaper before use hold it with a pair of tongs we have to use a tongs to hold it directly we should not hold with the hands burn it using a spirit lamp or a burner so in the laboratories you will be having burners use that burner to burn the magnesium ribbon later collect the ash burn the magnesium ribbon keeping it away as far as possible from your eyes always keep the things very away from our eyes so what is our observation you must have observed that magnesium ribbon burns with a dazzling flame so dazzling white flame means very very shiny flame will be coming when you are burning the magnesium ribbon and changes into a white powder so whenever you are burning the magnesium ribbon a dazzling white flame will be coming up and it will change itself into the white powder and this ash what we are getting has a white powder it is a magnesium oxide i can say it has mgo so how we will write this mgo later we will be saying it is formed due to the reaction between the magnesium and the oxygen present in the air so the magnesium and oxygen it reacts together in the presence of air and it forms magnesium oxide so in this chapter we will be writing the chemical equations also let's see it further let's do the activity to take lead nitrate solution in the test tube take the test tube and take the lead nitrate solution in that add potassium iodide potassium iodide is ki to the above test tube so take the lead nitrate and add potassium iodide to that then what you will observe so you will be observed somewhat yellowish color when you add lead nitrate solution to the potassium iodide solution so something a chemical reaction is going there so let's see what is happening still further the activity 3 take a few zinc granules the zinc in the form of granules we have to take in the conical flask or a test tube add dilute hydrochloric acid so what is the formula for the hydrochloric acid the hydrochloric acid it is hcl so take few granules of zinc add hcl that is a hydrochloric acid to that or else sulfuric acid to that HCl hydrochloric acid H2SO4 sulfuric acid caution once again whenever you are using the acids just be very careful because it can damage our skin so handle the acid with care obviously later do you observe anything happening around the zinc granules so whenever you are adding sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid to the zinc granules what is happening there let's see that touch the conical flask or test tube is there any change in its temperature so whenever you are adding the zinc granules to the hydrochloric acid or h2so4 is the temperature of the test tube or the conical flask is changing if it is changing if the temperature is increasing it is a exothermic reaction if the temperature is decreasing it is a endothermic reaction so exothermic reaction i said endothermic reaction i said later we will be seeing about this also from the above three activities we can say that any of the following observations help us to determine whether a chemical reaction has taken place or not whenever we are adding something to the substance then it may change its state that is change in state it may change its color that is change in color it may evolute gas that is evolution of a gas 
and change in temperature. So any of this can occur when the chemical reaction is taking place. So change in state that is from solid to liquid, liquid to gas etc. Some color has been changed and evolution of the gas. Some gases evolved there and change in temperature. The test tube or a conical flask can be cooled down or else it will be hot. So these are all the situations. It shows that the chemical reaction has taken place. As we observe the changes around us, we can see that there is a large variety of a chemical reaction taking place around us. So if you observe around us, many chemical reactions are being taking place. We will study about the various types of chemical reactions and their symbolic representation in this chapter. So we will be studying about the various chemical reactions and how to write down that reaction in the symbolic form also we will be learning. So writing down the chemical reaction we will be learning in this chapter.